In Psalms 121, verse 5 and 6, what does this mean? Can you read that? Psalms chapter 121 and verse 5. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade. Is thy what? Is thy shade. Come on. Upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. All right. So this goes with Psalms 91. So what we're going to highlight here, or what you're going to want to precept here, is shade and sun and moon. All right. Say, read it again, verse 5. Yes, sir. Psalms chapter 121 and verse 5. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade, is thy shade upon thy right hand. Right, Your right hand symbolizes power. All right. That's where we get our power from. We get our power from the protection of the Lord. Read on. The sun shall not smite thee by day. So it says the sun shall not smite thee by day. Come on. Nor the moon by night. So what's that talking about? So go to Psalms 91. The book of Psalms, chapter 91. What verse 5? Uh, start at verse 1. Verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High. So that's what, we, that's what we're doing now. Monday night meditations, we're dwelling in the secret place, all right, of the Most High. Come on. Shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Under, under what? Under the shadow. Under the what? Under the shadow. Right, so if you're under the shadow, where you at, brothers? You in the shade, all right, come on. Of the Almighty. You in the shade of the Almighty. Read on. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. Come on, because we're protected. Because we're learning God's laws. And we're learning the prophecies. So we're learning what to do to prepare ourselves for the coming of the Messiah. So when he comes to us, we're not, it's not going to be like it's a thief in the night for us. We're going to have prepared ourselves. All right? Because we're dwelling in the shadow. We're protected. All right? Imagine a, 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 it's a very hot day outside. All right? And it's high noon. You're going to be looking for what? Some shade, some protection from that sun. So this is uh, similar to, it's metaphoric. All right, it's metaphoric. So shade is going into the protection that we get from keeping the commandments of God. All right, and we learn that by coming to Monday night meditations, coming to the Sabbath, keeping all of the feast days, forsaking your wicked family. All right, that's how we receive protection from the Most High. Read on. He is my refuge and my fortress, my God. In him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler. What verse you at? Verse 3. All right, read on. Surely he shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler. Jump to verse 5. Verse 5. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night. Read verse 4. Verse 4. He shall cover thee. He shall do what? He shall cover thee. The Lord said he is going to cover us with what? With his feathers. That's a part of that shadow, that shade right there. Come on. And under his wings shalt thou trust. Because we're going to be protected. Come on. His truth shall be thy shield. What's the truth? What's the truth? Psalms 119, verse 142. All right, come on. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. That's our protection. That's the shade. That's the shadow. And because we're doing that, we're applying the things that we learn in Psalms 119, verse 142. The Lord is going to protect us in that day. Come on. Verse 5. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night. For the what? For the terror by night. For the terror by night. All right. So what's the terror that flies by night? That's going into the arrows, the missiles, the bombs. Come on. Nor for the arrow that flyeth by day. Nor for what? Nor for the arrow that flyeth by day. Because when the bombs come to this place, for one, it's going to happen over time. All right. It's going to happen over time. And it's going to happen over, it could be a few years. You know, it could be a few months, all right? Could be a few months and then a few years. But it's going to happen over time, and some of these bombs going to come during the day, and some of them going to come during nighttime. But we ain't got to worry about that if we're keeping the commandments and we're found faithful in that day, all right? So the terror that comes by day, that's going into missiles that come during the daytime. The terror that comes by night, that's going into missiles that come during the nighttime. Read on. Verse 6. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. That does what? That wasted 
at noonday. So we know at noonday, that's when the big bombs is coming. But it's going to be little bombs that come between now and noonday. All right? So gird yourselves. Gird yourselves up. Psalms 120, what was that? Okay, yes, sir. Read down. Verse 7. A thousand shall fall at thy side. Oh, yeah. A thousand shall fall at thy side. Come on. And 10,000. how many? And 10,000 at thy right hand. At what hand? At thy right hand. Then we read that in Psalms 121. Yes, sir. Was it 121? 121. Yeah, 121. We read that, right? Thy right hand. Come on. But it shall not come nigh thee. It shall not come nigh thee, meaning it's not going to touch you. You're not going to be harmed. You're going to feel the heat. It's going to be so close to you. You're going to feel it. It's going to be hot. It says somewhere else that it's going it's to be hot. The book of Malachi, chapter 4. Which one is one? Verse 1. Verse 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. It shall do what? Shall burn as an oven. Shall do what? Shall burn as an oven. A day is coming, y'all, that's going to feel like when you open the oven up. That's how it's going to feel. Imagine, imagine going outside and feel like you open the oven up. That's, that's the day that's coming. Come on. And all the proud, yea, all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts. Go to Isaiah 43 and 2. Isaiah 43 and verse 2. Come on. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. Read. And through the rivers. They shall not overflow thee. Read on. When thou walkest through the fire. When thou what? When thou walkest through the fire. When thou what? When thou walkest through the fire. Thou shalt what? Thou shalt not be burned. You see that? So it's, a day is coming where we're going to walk through the fire. We're going to feel the heat, but we're not going to be burned. All right? Because we're going to be protected by the Most High, by the Almighty. We're going to be protected. There's a little more on that, officer. Say it again. There's a little more on that. All right, go ahead. Neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. Neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. Meaning your clothes not going to get lit on fire. You're going to feel the heat. It's going to feel like you should just go up in flames. But your clothes not even going to get burnt. All right. Go to, uh, was that it in Psalms 91? Just finish that up in Psalms 91. We're going to move yes, on. Sir. The book of Psalms chapter 91 and verse 7. A thousand shall fall at thy side. And 10,000 at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Verse 8. Uh, yep. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. All right. So the wicked is not going to be protected. They're not going to be within the shadow of the Almighty. They're not going to be there. So Psalms 121 is an abbreviation of what was already said in Psalms 91. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. is you.